Hey guys, welcome back to the Zaner Honey Farm. Uh, today is just gonna be a quick update. Uh, so, as I talked about yesterday, um, they were still in the wad. Um, the bees were not going back in the hive. As you saw, they were under the pallet. Um, I think just keeping warm. Um, I had a few other beekeepers message me and they were talking about things that were going on uh, with it and stuff that kind of explained it and basically again it just comes down to them being queenless so um, a buddy of mine came over and he uh, was talking to me about it and he was like well since I'm here and I can help uh, why don't we see if um, because they're acting queenless if we can and they're in that adjustment period to their new home why don't we uh, go ahead and open up the lid since there as you guys saw there wasn't many of them in there um, we'll just take the top lid off and we'll lift the pallet up and shake them in so what we did was we took the box off um, the whole thing kept the lid off and then we sat that on down on the ground and then we picked the pallet up and that spot where the wad was minus of like oh, about 10 of them that were on the ground we took that and the two feet uh where they were between we sat that pivoted where it was on the corners and used that to hit it and then we shook them down in there so um uh when I, I, I kind of kept checking on them, I was real careful, wasn't moving too quick, um, and they seemed to have been staying in there. Um, it's a little warmer out, the sun's out today, and um, I just got back from work, and they seem to be going in and out. I didn't completely cap the small hole on the entrance reducer because um, uh, somebody had messaged me and said, don't trap them in because... Um, that's bad so I didn't but I left uh, and I and I kind of thought about it uh, that that kind of would be bad to just hold them in there because then they can't go and get other things because bees need other stuff other than just sugar water so um, they need protein and stuff so they need to go and forage for that stuff too so what worker bees and drones and stuff what uh, what they're all doing um, they need to be able to leave the hive if, if necessary so I left the the small hole um, on the entrance reducer uh, open but um, I did shake them in so I want to show you they're being pretty active um, they are flying in and out um, of that little hole right there um, there's a bunch of them that are flying around as you can see but like this is only just a few of them that are leaving in and out getting stuff who knows bees are doing their thing and um, so um, they seem to be doing okay I am NOT going to uh, open up the lid and show you anything uh, today uh, because I don't want to disturb them I need to I think I need to leave them be and let them do their thing um, and uh, just kind of leave them alone for a while and we'll see if they go and make that wad outside of the hive again um, because the other fear is that they could fly away if they out of that wad if they have not created a queen um, they could potentially leave and go and find another queen and I don't want that to happen um, because interesting news enough I have actually um, gotten word today from the guy that gave me the bees um, who again ordered through farm and fleet who's trash because again you saw how many dead bees there were he told me that the queen that they are the new queen they are sending me um, is um, in processing right now and it should be shipping if not later today tomorrow and it's one to three business days so by the end of the week I should have a new queen um, and then either Sunday or Monday I should be going to um, which if I understood the guy correctly I should be going to pick up the new colony of high uh, or uh, the colony of bees so I will have another one um, I'm probably gonna go get another top lid and bottom board uh, um, because I already have um, a deep body hive 
uh, with frames in it, um, but I'll go get another bottom board and top lid for that one. And I will introduce the new queen into this hive. Um, and hopefully they do not kill her and they accept her, uh, which they can kill her, but hopefully they accept her and everything goes a lot smoother. So prayers, need a lot of prayer for that. Need a lot of good things. We want this to grow um, so that everything starts looking cool and they start making honey and start laying eggs. Because if she don't, they don't accept her, she won't lay eggs. She don't lay eggs, all these guys are gonna die in a couple weeks. So we don't want that to happen. Um, and when I get the new, hive with the colony of bees set up um hopefully uh that goes well too and hopefully that goes a lot better than how this one did starting up so we'll see what happens <clears throat> so they're doing well right now they're all in the hive um i looked around the pallet to see if any of them started clustering around um i still have the in-frame feeder in there with the uh syrup and um, I'm not gonna check that to see if they've started to eat that or anything. Um, so I'm just leaving them be. So that's really all I got for today. Um, any comments, concerns, advice, tips, um, tips, questions, um, stuff about me, stuff about the bees, uh, stuff about the business, what I wanna do. Um, just anything, go ahead, comment, uh, ask below. Um, send me a message on the page, send me a message on the, um, on my personal Facebook and we will go from there. Um, again, um, if you're a veteran, go see another veteran, make sure they're okay. If you're an active service member, reach out to a veteran, reach out to a, um, reach out to your fellow brothers in arms and make sure they're doing okay. Um, Zaner Honey Farm will always stand against veteran suicide and the prevention thereof and um, we got to stop 22 veterans a day uh, so that's all I got guys um, stay tuned um, tomorrow uh, we will come out here and we will see how they're doing um, I'm looking now uh, I'm seeing a few of them uh, when they go to collect nectar and pollen and stuff they wadded around their legs and I just saw two with two little buds of uh, uh, nectar on their legs I think that's what that was so walking in the hive so hopefully they're doing something good in there after I reshook them um, I don't know if I'll decide to uh, open the, the lid tomorrow but I am gonna leave them alone today because it seems like they're going in and out of the hive um, right now on the little entrance reducer I'll reshow what that looks like for anybody watching again or tuning in later um, I mean they're going a lot of them are coming out going in hopefully they're collecting stuff and making some brood uh, brood is where they do their honey storages and lay their eggs and stuff like that so I don't know what they could be doing in there it's a mystery at the moment but um, I'm telling you guys, I think they really did make a queen. I'm hoping that they did make a queen. Um, and I'm hoping, I mean, my way of thinking is if I could look in there in a day or two and see what's happening, I would like to look in there and see if a queen got made. And if that happened, and I have a queen on the way. For you guys that are beekeepers, know anything about beekeeping, honeybees, blah, 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 all that, that whole realm. If I have a hive with a queen, another colony with a queen, and let's assume they all, all the queens get accepted and I have this extra queen. My question is to anybody that knows anything or has any advice or tips, would bringing in a completely healthy, like let's assume I get like 8,000 bees out of this new package or better. And could I split somehow take half and shake them into another hive and introduce them to a new queen and keep the queen that came with them in the other half and then have three hives going? Or what should I do with an extra queen? That's my question right now. Um, 
I don't know if that'll be the case. This is all a hypothetical because, again, we don't know if they made a queen or not out of uh, a female. Um, but in the event that they did, I would have an extra queen and I wouldn't know what to do with her. Um, I don't know if I'd want to wait and hold her until, I mean, could, I mean, she can live for a while, but she needs food supplies and um, royal jelly and stuff like that to survive. She needs the bees and I wouldn't want to hold on to her until I bought another package of bees. And to, you know, I mean, that would be cool because then I'd have a holy crap ton of bees out here and then that would be good for not just me but y'all if you if, you know for honey making purposes but um i mean i don't know what should i do if i get an extra queen should i buy another hive should i split the hive that or should i buy another hive and another colony of bees or should i split half and half of the bees the new colony of bees that i'm going to be getting here in about a week or so so that's my question if anybody has any advice uh let me know so that's all i got for today um the bees look to be doing well and hopefully we'll see something tomorrow and hopefully they start doing well so until then thanks guys